And some local utility crews from across the Tennessee Valley are already in the Carolinas or preparing to go to the Carolinas to deal with the aftermath of Florence. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live at the Huntsville Utilities. He's finding out exactly what those linemen are expecting to walk into. Cody? Yeah, Dan and Demetria, the Huntsville Utilities already has several crews in the Carolinas, and the Tennessee Valley Authority is also going to be sending 80 men to that area of the country. And the Joe Wheeler Electric Membership Cooperative is also going to be sending people uh, for the aftermath of Florence, which just shows you just how serious these organizations are taking this storm. Patrick Turner is a lineman for Joe Wheeler EMC and has seen firsthand the damage a storm like Florence can cause. In the past, we've seen catastrophic uh, stuff trees down, power lines down, roads blocked. As people in the Carolinas board up their homes in preparation for 50 plus mile per hour winds, Turner and Joe Wheeler EMC are among the linemen preparing too, making sure one of their do it all trucks is ready to go. Has the capability of uh, lifting material up in the air, transformers, breakers, and what have you, cross arms. It's like having a third hand um, to the lineman that's up in the bucket. From his experience, Turner says all of the linemen will work long days 12, 16 hours a day. Sometimes even longer. Even with long hours, it could take a while to get all the power back on. It could be up to several weeks. Um, sometimes we uh, we'll send the first crew down, and after a couple of weeks, we normally swap out with another fresh crew. Those crews will have to deal with potentially deadly dangers. Live power lines sometimes. But it's all worth it to see the looks on people's faces as they roll up to get their power working again. They're very glad to see us coming. Turner says money from FEMA will reimburse the linemen for their work to get power back on to the people in the Carolinas. Uh, and Joe Wheeler EMC is a smaller co-op, so they can't send as many crews and trucks as Huntsville Utilities, uh, but they still plan on sending two and maybe even more if, they, if the help is needed. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.